What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. Things don't always go according to plan, especially not in the movie and TV industry. Either actors get too carried away and act in the spur of the moment, or the director wanted to go off script and surprise his stars with a little kissing action. Whatever the case, here are the ten movie and TV kisses that weren't supposed to happen. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number ten: Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Julia Orchard Heyman. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 had some pretty memorable scenes, and one of those actually includes the graduation kiss. In it, actor Andrew Garfield plays the unforgettable Peter Parker, but because Spider-Man is fighting bad guys, he was actually late for his very own graduation. So he came in as fast as he could, and just as they called out his name, he rushed on the stage, kissed Gwen, who was already there, and he jumped off the stage as if nothing ever happened. But when they later interviewed Andrew, he said that the kiss was nowhere in the script. Instead, here's what he thought. He knew it was Peter Parker's last day at school, and he knew that it's very unlikely he would see his classmates in the near future. So he figured he would smash that like button if he haven't done so already. But no, he actually thought he would go out with a boom, an event that his classmates wouldn't forget for a long time, even if that meant embarrassing Gwen and shocking Emma Stone in the process. Number nine: Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis in Top Gun. And my plane come first. Well, I'm going to finish my sentence, Lieutenant. My review of your ah, Top Gun. It was one of those movies where you had a little bit of everything. You had action and you had romance. Perfect for couples movie night. But one of the things we particularly loved was Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis. Back in the 80s, these actors were all the rage, and there's a little secret that not everyone knows about Charlie and Maverick. You see, in that scene where Charlie finally catches up to Maverick on the street and she confesses her feelings for him, Maverick is dumbstruck. But this wasn't supposed to happen this way. When she told him that she doesn't want anyone to fin out about her feelings about Maverick, Tom Cruise had more than a few lines. But all of that dialogue was lost in the heat of the moment, and he forgot everything. So, did they redo the scene? Not really. Cruise just went in for the kiss, and we've since remembered this scene as the one of the classics of movie history. Number eight: Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas in Jurassic World. And it was just another example of why. I was right to put so much trust in you. Jurassic World was the movie that continued the Spielberg saga from the past, and it was the second movie that helped Chris Pratt launch his career. Now, in the scene where Owen and Claire are surrounded by dead pteranodons and the entire park is a mess, the director had a crazy idea. He pulled Chris Pratt to the side and he told him that it would be great if he and Bryce could kiss after she pulls Chris's character up. Chris Pratt thought that this would add some depth to the entire scene, so he agreed. They resumed shooting, and Chris Pratt got ready. As 200 people from the cast watched these two try to deal with the imaginary mayhem on set, they were stunned to see Chris kiss Bryce Dallas. They all knew the script didn't call for a kiss, and even the actress was dumbstruck. She didn't know what to think, but later, when she saw all of the people looking at the two of them, she burst out laughing. Number seven: Gemma Whelan and Indira Varma kiss in Game of Thrones. So they've made their intentions known. Do you remember that scene in Game of Thrones where Yara Greyjoy and Elaria Sand kissed inside the cabin of the ship? Would you be surprised if we told you that the scene was not actually in the script? It's something the actresses decided to do in the heat of the moment, as they thought that it wouldn't be appropriate if they were flirting and touching each other without actually kissing. Actress Gemma even said, "We let it very much so. It was meant to be a suggestion of flirting, and then it became more sexual than we expected because it seemed right." Oh, and there were only a small crew on board the ship, as the vessel couldn't hold too much weight, so you could say they were alone in there. Number six: Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth in the last song. This is actually how the love story of these two began. They were on the set of the last song when they met, and their first kiss happened during that unforgettable scene at the beach. While the director was asking them to do different scenes, change positions, change angles, do this and that, she had the idea of these two kissing. 
Wanting to remain professional and making a great movie in the process, they agreed to the kiss. It was the first time they ever kissed, and it was actually spontaneous. All of those raw emotions you see in that scene are actually real. They didn't really prepare for any of them. This kiss marked the beginning of an eight-year-long relationship and a two-year marriage. But sadly, Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus divorced in 2020. Number 5. Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher in Star Wars The Last Jedi I'm just glad that you're here with me at the end. One of the most emotional scenes in the 2017 Star Wars The Last Jedi is the scene where Luke actually kisses Leia on the forehead. After 35 years of separation, Luke finally meets Princess Leia. They have this amazing history together, even as friends, so Mark Hamill did what seemed natural to him. As he was saying goodbye to her, Luke just leaned in and kissed her on the forehead, but he never told anyone he would do that. But as soon as they saw him do this, their jaws dropped to the floor, as no one expected it to happen. The only thing wrong with it was that they had a bad shot of the scene, so they just asked him to do a second retake of the scene and everything happened all over again. Let's just say that this scene is heartwarming. Number 4. Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams in American Hustle choices. <laughs> in the movie American Hustle, Amy Adams plays the mistress of Christian Bale's character, while Jennifer Lawrence plays his wife. The only time these two are together is during that kiss scene, which wasn't even in the script. You see, Amy Adams had this idea of her kissing Lawrence in the scene, and she pitched the idea to the director. Needless to say, David O. Russell loved the idea, and he immediately jumped on board. She then said, I came up with the idea, but Lawrence executed it in a way that felt driven purely from character. And the laugh she gives after, that was genius. And we for one agree, that type of reaction seems pretty natural in a situation like this. Number 3. Dylan O'Brien and Holland Roden in Teen Wolf <laughs> When Styles actually kissed Lydia Martin in the one scene of Teen Wolf, the fans actually lost it. And not only that, the cast and crew couldn't believe what actually happened before their very eyes. Why? Because this wasn't mentioned anywhere in the script. However, the director decided to keep this scene in the movie, and when fans saw it, they were reeling. So what did the showrunners do next? They fed the fans' desires, and they told writers to create a special storyline which would be centered around their characters in the series. And when Holland talked about her experience kissing Dylan, she said that she did it for all of the other girls out there, since she knew how much of a fan favorite his character actually was. Number 2. Sadie Sink and Caleb McLaughlin in Stranger Things for Max uh, yeah. and Lucas. Yeah. I was shooting that. If you didn't know it already, the scene from Stranger Things was actually the one where Caleb actually had his first kiss. In real life. Actually. But this kissing scene started out as a prank. You see, one of the directors wanted to make Sadie a little nervous, so he told her that she would have to kiss Caleb McLaughlin in the scene with the dance. At first, she didn't buy it, but as he kept persisting, it dawned on her that this was actually happening. Sadie then became so worried that the director felt bad if he backed down and told her it was just a prank in the very last moment. Even though this was a wonderful scene in the series, the actors were more than just nervous behind the scenes. Number 1. Kevin Keller and Archie in Riverdale In the fourth season of Riverdale, they decided to celebrate the LGBTQTIA classic Hedwig and the Angry Inch. If you've never watched this in the musical number, Hedwig actually kisses a stranger from the audience, so Casey Cott decided to do the same. During the first take, he kissed Archie, aka KJ Appa, on the cheek, but the directors didn't really like the way it looked. During the retake, Casey Cott ended up landing a big ol' smooch on KJ Appa's face, which actually made it in the episode. If you look closely, you can see how surprised KJ was when he received the juicy kiss. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what are some of your favorite kissing scenes that weren't supposed to happen? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.